Welcome back friends, welcome to getting started with Python. In today's video, we will be seeing how to run Python code in a browser, irrespective of your machine. Uh, as far as you can run a browser, you can execute and learn Python programming. So there are two types uh, that I will cover in this video. One is to use the official python.org shell. Here you can t uh, play around with the syntaxes. You can uh, test a, a few regular expressions that we'll cover later. And basically you can play around with your syntaxes here. However, you cannot really build your website on such advanced things, but you can do all the basic things that we will be covering uh, in this particular uh, course in the level one, in the part one. The another way is to use the REPL.IT. Um, REPL.IT is the website, is the online uh, running, uh, online editor, I would say for Python that actually uh, gives you very nice looking interface where you can save your code uh, for the next time. You can share your code and also you can uh, choose to import your code from GitHub. So here you will, uh, first you will create your account and you will create a new REPL. New REPL is like a code snippet and you will choose your language, which is a Python in this case, and then you will name your REPL, the, your code snippet. So uh, this is how it will look like. So when we print our code, uh, our line that to print the hello programming on the console, this is how it will look like. So it has the three parts in the first panel. It's a main.py is the a default file which got creates with your code snippet with your REPL and in the middle you write your code and in the right most panel actually the code executes right here. So I will go back now and will show you both of these things in action. So let's go back to the shell and then REPL. So this is the shell. It's available at your uh, python.org official website and it keeps the cache from the last inst uh, launch. So I've been running this for a while. So it actually have the, my code from the last. Let's print this time again. So hello programming and voila, there you go. So you have hello programming that print got printed to the console right here. So now let's go ahead and do REPL. So REPL.IT uh, will take you to from here. You have to create a login or you first you have to sign up if you don't have a sign up and then you create a login uh, sorry you log in so i have my account already so i get logged in automatically i use my google account for that and there you go so now when you actually it might ask you first time what languages you want to be interested in so please provide python in that case but then they will have your basic python environment set it up for you so now when you say REPL and you choose Python, you give your say hello, REPL name or code snippet name and say create REPL. There you go. So it's initializing your environment. And now let's write print the same thing what we did. Hello programming in the quotes and say run. Run is the right button right there. So it will execute your code and there you go, you, it printed the con console. So in this video, we saw how to be able to run your basic syntax in Python in online code editors. And one we covered in the, as the shell editor where you can uh, cannot really save your code. If you uh, refresh your cache, it will be gone. Uh, browser cache, it will be gone. But uh, in REPL.IT, you can really save your code, you can contribute, uh, you share with other people, and you can import from uh, uh, GitHub, and you can save in journal as well. So in this video, uh, I the, the, that's it for this particular video. In the next video, I will be covering the vocabulary used in Python. Till then, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.